Hi there. Today I got a new package in the mail and it's something to play with for my ninja foodie. So I thought I would open it up with you here and show you what it looks like if it came in the mail to your house and I'll show you how to put it into the ninja foodie and maybe we'll try something out. Okay, this is a ninja dehydrating rack, an attachment for the ninja foodie. I bought this online and I can leave a link in my description so you can check it out. But it came in the mail today and this is to be used with this particular model because it has a feature of dehydrating on it. Not all the Ninja Foodies have that but we were careful to get one that does because we are going to make some good stuff on this. Alright, let's see what it looks like inside. It's packaged nicely stacked together here. There's even some directions on how to use it. Okay, each one of the racks is individually wrapped in plastic so that they stay nice and straight. They're separated by cardboard. Nice job in packaging. All right. Now, when we look at these racks, they have nice little grids, so you can put stuff on here that's pretty small and not worry about it falling through. And there's so many of them. There's five, I believe. Yep. And five racks will give you quite a lot of food. Now, uh, first directions that they have is wash the racks first. So I'm going to wash them and I'll be right back. Here we are, all nice and clean. Now, one of these racks has what they call ladders. And the ladders are what are going to hold each of the trays going up the side. So you actually put this together as you make your slices or pieces of food that you want to dehydrate. And then each of the racks has a little side piece on and they fit into the ladder. Every time you add a tray, you fit it into the steps on the ladder. And then you fill your next tray with the food that you want to dehydrate and you fit it into the ladder and so on. It looks like this. You open your foodie. You don't use the pressure cooking lid. You use the air fryer type lid. And you take your full rack of food and it fits perfectly into the food. Then you close the lid and you turn on the dehydrating function and go ahead with your project. Now, I would like to make something for you with the first unboxing here. So, so I'm going to get out some nice fruit and we're going to dehydrate some citrus crisps. So let me get them out and I'll show you how to make this nice little snack. All right, here we go. I got a couple nice pieces of citrus here. I have a ruby red grapefruit. I have a big fat navel orange and I have a couple blood oranges which are so good. I just love them. So I'm going to cut these up in very, very thin slices. Okay? And then we're going to lay them on the racks. I'm going to bring you up close so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to take a nice sharp knife for this. And we're just going to cut very thin slices. Let's start with the ruby red grapefruit. We'll cut off enough of the rind till we start to see some nice fruit in there. Okay, I just love when we get bright colors in the citrus fruits. So that's what I was hoping for with this selection here. Now we're going to cut this as thin as possible. And I'm talking thin. You can see through that if you wanted to. <laughs> Okay, now 
We're just going to keep making slices. Nice sharp knife helps you do this to get good thin pieces. As we get these nice thin pieces here, we're going to lay them on the bottom rack first. This is the rack with the ladders on the side. And we'll keep going here. on. When we get that rack filled, we're going to go to the next layer. And we have a lot of nice juicy pieces here. If you see any seeds, take them out. And if they start to become a lot of rind, then just put them aside and you know what I'm going to do with them? I'm going to have that for a little snack tonight <laughs> while I'm waiting for the fruit to dry. <laughs> okay, now there's two layers. Pretty nice. Let's get the next layer on here. And we're going to put the navel orange next. This is almost as big as the grapefruit. All right, we're going to cut into this till we get a nice big piece of center fruit. Now, my sister told me that one year she made decorations for her Christmas tree by making orange slices and drying them but they were nice and thick <laughs> and hopefully ours are going to be nice to eat not hang on a Christmas tree but you can do that too it does make a nice decoration and you can even put some kind of varnish on it to keep them nice on the Christmas tree These are coming out so nice and with the navel oranges we don't have any seeds in there so it's a good choice here to uh, to use without having to mess around with seeds all right now i have two racks left i'm going to put the rest of the navel orange aside and start doing um, some blood oranges because i think they look so cool and i love the flavor of them so we want a little bit more of those. And once we get these going here, put another rack in place. Okay. Now check out this blood orange. Doesn't it look nice? Look at those colors. This is a healthy snack for sure. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's spread these out for drying. Again, I'm not finding any seeds in a blood orange. And I do want to experiment here and try making a fat one and see how that comes out, if any different. I don't know if you can always find blood oranges in your neighborhood but I don't always find them around here. When I do, I scoff them up. All right, let's get the last rack on. Now, many of you have used fruit dehydrators, the kind that you have plastic racks and they're very hard to clean. These can go right into the dishwasher. It works in the same nature 
but sometimes the fruit dehydrator takes a couple days. This takes, for what I'm doing here is going to take about six hours. I couldn't wait for this rack to come in the mail. I was so excited. And I know Rick is going to be so excited too because he has in mind making things like beef jerky on this. Here we go. That's what I'm going to put into the Ninja. And we're going to dehydrate it overnight. All right, we just have the air frying lid on here, which uh, if you have seen this before, this is how it looks inside. All right, I'm going to take the rack full of citrus and just lower it into the pot. And it's a perfect fit. Everything is fitting there nicely. And we're just going to put the lid down on top. All right, I'll show you how easy it is to set it. All right, now we're going to choose the word dehydrate and press it. And then to set it to the default, we're going to press it again. It's 150 degrees. However, I would like to change the temperature to 135 degrees. Then we're going to set the time. Six hours, that's exactly what I want for the time that we're going to keep this in the dehydrator. And then press start. That's all there is to it. Then you see the, the light go on and it will start to dehydrate. Now we can check it throughout the cooking time just to make sure it might be done a little bit early because we never tried this yet. But I'm going to go with the recipe book that came with the Ninja. And it doesn't tell you much, but it does tell you dehydrating times for fruit. And they're typically 135 degrees and 6 to 8 hours. So hopefully we get a nice crunchy snack out of this. And in the meantime, I'm going to eat the leftover oranges. <laughs> okay, we'll be back and we'll check it in the morning. All right, the drying time is over. So let's take a look here. Okay, we have some nice dried fruit. Let's lift the rack out. All right, now this is what we have. Dried. And each layer has, looks like it dried pretty evenly. A couple a little bit stuck together. Okay, there's, there's the butt oranges. And here's the navel oranges, nice and bright. Now the navel oranges seem to stay more um, more solid compared to the blood oranges, which um, dried up in the middle a little bit. Where they smell great, the grapefruits, I can smell them right away. Nice and they're beautiful.
going to arrange these in a bowl for a nice snack. These are really pretty. All right, this is our citrus slices after six hours of drying time. I think you would find that you could dry it even further if you want to be more crispy. Now this is pretty well dried that you could hear the snap in there. It reminds me kind of like a dried pineapple would be, but not as crispy as a what you would say a dried banana would be. So you can eat the rind and it's nice because these are very thin and if you do enjoy the taste of the rind then this is a nice thickness so let's have a taste mm, they're a little crunchy and delicious they taste so fresh like as if it was a whole piece of moist fruit but this is a nice way you can take this with you for your lunch. Thanks for joining me for my first recipe using the Ninja Foodie dehydrator function. If you would like to have a Ninja Foodie and you don't have one now, I'll put a link in the description where you can get one. I hope you get a chance to make this nice natural snack. Thanks for watching.